the other buzz in Washington and the rest of the country, if not the world, is that wedding we've been talking about. Chelsea Clinton and investment banker Mark Mazvinsky got married last night in Rhinebeck, New York. And despite all the media coverage leading up to it, there were still a few surprises. Our Lindsay Davis is in Rhinebeck with all the details. Good morning, Lindsay. Good morning, Biano. What a feat Chelsea and Mark have pulled off. Somehow they managed to keep an estimated 400 wedding guests quiet and keep the media guessing all along the way. But now we don't have to rely on speculation to fill in the gaps. We have actual answers and even pictures. At last, the veil of secrecy lifted. Chelsea Clinton, the young girl we met in the White House, is now all grown up. She was stunning in her gown designed by Vera Wang. It had silver beading circling her waist, and she wore a smile similar to her mother's. Chelsea said her I do's to Mark Mizvinsky on her own terms, without paparazzi or press. Are you nervous? The former president reportedly slimmed down for the affair, losing more than 15 pounds before walking Chelsea down the aisle. The mother of the bride beamed in fuchsia designed by Oscar de la Renta. Around 7.30, it was official. The couple had tied the knot. In an email, the Clinton family said, today we watched with great pride and overwhelming emotion as Chelsea and Mark wed in a beautiful ceremony at Astor Courts. We could not have asked for a more perfect day to celebrate the beginning of their life together. The interfaith ceremony included elements from both the Jewish and Christian tradition. The big names the media had buzzed about for weeks weren't there for the nuptials. As far as who was there to witness it all, the majority of the guests were 20 and 30-somethings, friends of the bride and groom. But those prominent names who did show up included Vernon Jordan, former Secretary of State Madeleine Albright, actors Ted Danson and his wife Mary Steenburgen. The entire team is all A-list. A Vera Wang gown, Brian Raffinelli, the pl party planner, Jeff Latham coming from the George Sank Hotel in Paris. I mean, these are all the big ticket players. While we still don't know how much the wedding cost, the bride and groom certainly look like more than a million bucks. So there were no fireworks after all, and there were a few other misnomers sprinkled in there. But the one question still remains, aside from how much did it all cost, is where's their honeymoon? Let the speculators begin. We were wondering about that yesterday. Lindsay, I understand that you actually spoke with a couple of the guests. What do they have to say about the magical night? Yeah, but still mums the word, beyond Even when we talked to them, some that were heading to the reception, all we got out of them was for that we're, they were from London. Otherwise, they said, wedding? What wedding? But people were staying at our hotel. They didn't get in until about 4.30 in the morning. We're overheard saying it was a great party. Yeah, well, it sure sounds like it. Glad you got to spend some time there in beautiful Rhinebeck. Thank you, Lindsay. <laughs>